Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to be explaining how to get the default Minecraft assets. For basically any version of Minecraft, uh, what I mean by assets is all the, the, the models that exist, all the textures that exist, loads of other uh, things that are useful for resource packing, such as shaders and block states, you know, useful stuff. Uh, for data packing, there is all the loot tables available. As of recent, there's also the world gen and a couple more stuff. It's honestly really quite nice and very useful to have. So uh, yeah, let's get started. To start, we first need to find where our adult Minecraft folder is. This is basically where all of Minecraft things happen. So for that, we're going to open, well, in our escape menu, click on options, resource packs, and well, in all likelihood, you'll have a few less than me. Um, the reason I have this few is because I also put different ones in folders. But yeah, here we can click on open pack folder, which then opens up our resource pack folder. From here, what we want to end up doing is going to, well, dot .minecraft and then we want to go to versions because we want to select which version we want to use. Now you can tell I've got quite a lot of them here. Uh, let's just go down to the bottom and, well, let's just update it and say, hey, I want 1.19.3. Now here you see this is a .jar file and this is what we're going to use. Now I'm going to go to my desktop because it's kind of empty and I'm going to paste that here. Now you can tell that this is a .jar file. Um, if you can't see the .jar, that's going to be an issue. So you're going to go to um, screen. Uh, I'm Dutch, so everything is different. And then this setting here of a file name extension or whatever the English version is. So if you don't have that on, you can tell I don't know what this is, but with it's enabled, I can see the chart. The reason that that's useful is because now I can rename this dot .zip. And now I have a .zip file, which when I open it, has a whole lot of stuff in it. Now, the main things that are useful is uh, these two folders. So assets is all of the assets. So all of the uh, atlases, block states, fonts, languages, uh, models, Particles, shaders, texts, and textures. And the data, a bit slow, <laughs> my, uh, bear with my computer, uh, has advancement, chat type, not quite sure what that is, haven't used it yet, and it didn't exist last time I looked, uh, data packs. Ah, that's a new data packs, yes, 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 makes sense. And then you have dimensions, loot tables, recipes, structures, tags, and world gen. Uh, so yeah, from this point forth, you can just unzip this, uh, maybe delete all the things that are uh, a bit nonsensically uh, many. I feel like with all of this deleted, my computer would enjoy this a whole lot more. Um, but yeah, from here on out, if you want to, for example, have diamond pickaxe texture, then you can simply go to textures, item, and search in here for a diamond pickaxe. And then up comes Diamond Pickaxe. So that is basically all that there is to it. Now, I should give you a, a legal warning. Uh, if you use the, uh, for example, Diamond Pickaxe texture in your resource pack, um, that is illegal. Uh, you're, you're From a legal standpoint, you're not allowed to use the vanilla assets directly in your resource pack. Plus, it is unnecessary because you could also just reference the vanilla asset that the game already has access to. If you modify a vanilla asset, that is allowed but without modification, it is not allowed. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, see you all in the next one. If you did enjoy it, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the drill. Uh, and I'll uh, see you all in the next one. Bye guys.